But first, but first, I had, since I have video proof of nobody asked me a question. For nine, it says, is that four? No, it is not four and eight. It is six and six. It is six, six, and they are both over nine. So it is two thirds, two thirds, and then the three moves to the front. Yes, I understand that. It's hard to see. Ayaka. You do number 13, so you wrote 2a minus 1 squared. That's fine. It's the same thing. Everybody is good up to Fort 16. Because 16 is not easy. Well... In number 16, you will notice, and I'm going to erase it to show you, you will notice that it is a difference of squares, correct? Right? So since it's a difference of squares, we know it's a square root of the first thing plus square root of the second thing, then square root of the first thing minus square root of the second thing, right? So... A great many of you, a great many of you do not understand this expression, even though I've showed you a million times. What does this mean? 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3, yes? which means they are both factors, yes? Which means the square root of that is the square root of this, yes? Which means I would need to take out groups of two, yes? This is a group of two, isn't it? So the whole thing would come out and I would have 2x plus 3. That is the square root of this. But a great many of you have not bothered to learn this. So I have shown you, I have given you that other trick where you make anything that you don't like another letter. And anything you don't like here, another letter, right? So this could be rewritten as a squared plus b squared, or not plus, sorry, minus b squared, yes? And since it's a difference of squares and we know the square root of a squared is a, we know it's a plus b, and then a minus b, right? Then we just sub in. 2x plus 3 is a. There it is. Plus b, which is 4x minus 7. 2x plus 4x is what? 6x. 3 minus 7 is what? Negative 4. That's the first half. The other side is a minus b. So the other side is 2x plus 3 minus 4x minus 7. Now, what is 2x minus 4x? He waited patiently. Negative 2x. And what is 3 minus minus 7? 3 minus negative 7. Positive 10. Now, a great many of you, if you have paid attention, hopefully got at least to there. But then you should have noticed what can come out of that. A 2. A 2. So that's going to leave me 3x minus 2, correct? What can come out of that? 2. I would like to take a negative 2. So a negative 2 is going to come out of that. 
leaving me with x minus 5, yes? What do you do with that 2 and that negative 2? Multiply. Multiply them together to get negative 4, 3x minus 2, x minus 5. That is about the hardest question I could possibly give you in grade 10 factoring. If you, maybe you didn't do it right the first time, but if you can follow that now, you're in a very good space two days before your test. Notice I didn't say that you need to be able to do it by yourself because your test is until Wednesday. When do you need to be able to do this by yourself? Wednesday, right? By Wednesday. So if you can follow it now, you're in a good spot. Uh, there is 17. 18 is very similar. A and A, yes? It's not an equation. Right? But they're not the same thing. They're two different factors. What you're saying, Aiden, would say this. What you just said, and I'll quote you. I'm not trying to be a dink. I'm just trying to... You said they're all the same thing, right? Uh, what you said was they're all the same thing, correct? Yes. Two times three. What are those? Right now, what are they? Factors, right? Are they the same thing? I'm just asking you, are two and three the same thing? No, that will equal six, correct? I'm not sure what you're asking, but I'm gonna go a little further with this and maybe it'll clear it up for both of us, okay? You ready? All right, six times four, what does that equal? 24, excellent. Which are the factors? Six and four. Excellent, okay. Does six break down again? Yes. Two times three, does four break down again? <coughs> two times two. Is two times three times two times two still 24? But I took, I broke down each factor because they're separate things. Does that help answer what you're asking me? Because I'm not totally sure what you're asking me. I'm asking, when you simplify it, why do you simplify each factor separately because they're both together in the same equation? Okay, I understand. Okay. Okay. All right. If I expanded this all the way out right here, okay, when I had the two factors, right? So I had 6x plus 4 and negative 2x plus 10, yes? Agree? So if I factor that out, that's negative 12x squared, right? Right? Plus 60x, right? Minus 8x, right? Right? Plus 40, cool? So it's negative 12x squared plus 52x plus 40, yeah? Okay, what would you do to factor that? You got to deal with, you try GCF first. It's negative four, right? So I'm going to divide everything by negative four. And I'm going to get 3x squared minus 13, yes? Right? Plus, sorry, not plus, minus 10, cool? I don't like that three, can't divide it out, so it's got to multiply over here. So I got to multiply to negative 30 and add to negative 13, correct? Are you with me? 
Okay, so it's 10, 15 and negative 2, right? Negative 15 and positive 2, right? So it's negative 4, x minus 15 over 3, right? And x plus 2 over 3, right? Simplify, that's negative 5, that doesn't simplify, negative 4, x minus 5, 3x plus 2. Right? Negative 4, x minus 5, 3x plus 2. Somewhere in here a negative needed to come out. I, may, I lost something in the expansion. Three x squared minus fifteen minus two. That should be two x plus three. Six x minus four. Uh, negative two x plus ten. Take out a negative two. Oh. Two five. Two five. Three x plus five. Took out a negative. Somewhere, somewhere there's something, a negative that I put in the wrong spot somewhere. But essentially, what I'm telling you is factors are each their own thing. Right? So let's do it this way. 6 and negative 4 equals negative 24, right? So what's the common factor there? It's 2. So I'm going to take out a 2, and I got 2 times 3, and then 2 times negative 2, right? 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 12 times negative 2 is negative 24. They both get smaller. If you can factor, you factor. Simplify, simplify, simplify. That's all I'm trying to say. Sometimes you're factoring the factor. Yep. And finally, number 19 uh, takes me to there. And I didn't finish number 19, did I? What can come out of there? Out comes a 2. Or a 4 comes out of there to get 4x plus 2. And what comes out of there? 2, 2x minus 3, right? And then I could put, I could put those together and put an 8 out front if I wanted to. Is everybody good? Okay, now, it's 8.51. You have uh, 40 minutes left in class. Now, please look. Page 139 has everything, every kind of factoring on it. I think. Just let me double check. No, 139 is missing some of these substitute -y ones, okay? So, what I'm going to do, your page 140 should be blank, yes? Uh, yes. Yes. On page 140... I'm going to write a couple of these ones that you can do the A substitution trick on, all right? You start working on page 139. Hopefully, we'll be able, well, not hopefully, we will mark it for marks tomorrow because it's your review. If you can do 139, you're comfortably at a B level for the factoring part of this unit. Now remember, this unit also has multiplying polynomials. 
So on page 140, I'm going to give you a couple of those harder, higher level factorings and a couple expansions. Okay? Go. I'm going to write a couple of these out right now. Mm-hmm. Yep.
Mm-hmm. Just checking on this. I think I figured it out, but this is the first time I've seen it where the one with the coefficient that we have to get rid of has a negative attached to. Do we also move the negative over here? Oh, you could. Uh, see, guys, that's the only one that waves. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And there is your page 140. The factoring stuff, 1 to 8, that is the kind of A-level factoring. But this stuff down here, these two things, these two you should know. Whether you want an A or not, you should know how to expand those. Is everybody good? <coughs> Excellent. Okay, no. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Okay. What don't you like in number one? The five. Can you get rid of it? No, you cannot divide it out because seven doesn't divide by five, two doesn't divide by five. Which means that five has to carry over here. This is five times bigger. So I must be looking for factors of five times two, which is ten. I am thinking to myself, since x is five times bigger, I must need five times two, which is ten. But I still need to add the seven because seven hasn't changed. It is, of course, five and two, and they're both positive. So it is x plus five, but not really plus five, because I multiplied by five, and x plus two, but not really two, because I multiplied by five. Then I simplify. Five divided by five is x plus one. That doesn't simplify, so the 5 moves to the front. And then I check. Is x times 5x 5x squared? Yes. Is positive 1 times positive 2 positive 2? Yes. So I'm correct. Right? The second one. I can't get rid of the 2, so I bring it over. And my thinking is... X is twice as big, so I must need to multiply to twice 6, which is 12, but I still need to add to 7. And it is, of course, 3 and 4. 3 times 4 is 12, 3 plus 4 is 7, so it is X plus 3, but not really, 
because I had to multiply by 2, so I better get rid of it. X plus 4, but not really. Get rid of the 2. Does that simplify? So what goes, the 2 goes to the front. 2X plus 3. Does that simplify? X plus 2. And then I check. 2X times X is 2X squared. I'm right. 3 times 2 is positive 6. I'm right. Yeah? Six does not come out of here. Three does not come out of here. So I got to do this. Multiply to negative 18, add to 17. It is, of course, one and 18. How do I put them together to make 17? 18 minus one. So it is X minus one, but not really minus one. It's over six. And x plus 18, but not really plus 18, because it's over 6. And then I simplify. That one doesn't simplify. 6x minus 1. That one becomes 3x plus 3. And then I check. Is 6 times x, 6x squared? Yeah, sure, you betcha. Is negative 1 times positive 3, negative 3? Yeah, sure, you betcha. So it's right, and I'm done. And that should be what you were able to do. Okay? Okay. Carry on. My wayward sons, there will be peace when you are done. Not really. I don't like Kansas very much. It's okay, man. I just don't like it. You're allowed to like it. I just don't. You're probably not a giant fan of early Cypress Hill, but I'm allowed to be. Sometimes there's even bands that go through such an evolution that you do not like them anymore, even when you love them in their first two albums, like Rage Against the Machine. Or Canadian icons, the tragically hip. I do not really like any album past their fifth. Tomorrow is Tuesday. This wasn't a trick question. Oh, you know what's not on page 139 is any difference of squares. Crap, I better put a couple on there. Easy ones. Now I'm happy. Ladies and gentlemen, I just added three questions to page 139 because I just noticed that page 139 has no difference of squares and you do need to know how to do them. So I put three fairly easy ones up there. Okay? Okay. Dissemination, that's a good word. To spread information. 
with or to teach. It comes from the Latin seminate, which comes where we get semen from. Because when you inseminate something, you seed it. So if you disseminate, you spread that out. <laughs> huh? Good thing it's a short week. Catch up on your sleep. I recommend it. Your parents are buying you a car. Oh. Know how many cars my parents bought for me? Lower. Lower. There you go. Wait, what were you talking about? If you didn't do me on the intake, I don't want You want a what? You want an Audi. That's the car you want for your first car. You're in the 10th grade and you want an Audi. Like you Like you Okay. Like a newish one? Like a newish one, like the 2016s and 17s. 2016 Audi. No, 2017, because we're going to be in 2027. <laughs> a 2017 low end Audi would be like $30,000. That's all of it. Well, what am I I bought a truck. That's good enough. You could buy a piece of crap old Audi and fix it up. Since you specified these ones are different, this is the idea, right? Like A, Yeah, except you would then factor both of those, wouldn't you? Yeah. So we're supposed to factor now. Yeah, always factor completely. Yeah. I would factor in my very first step there if I were you. Because, of course, four comes out of both of them, right? Now, actually, Aiden, I'm going to go back 